Hi everyone, welcome to episode 19 of Happy Work TV. I'm Chris Reimer, your intrepid host. And today we are going to talk about commitment number 17 in my list of 46 commitments that I titled the Happy Work Agreement that are in this book, Happy Work. This is a commitment that an employee is going to make to their manager or an employ or their employer. And it's a little bit longer than some of the previous ones. So let me read it to you. If I quit and give two weeks notice, I will not quit on Venori Inc. during those two weeks. Venori Inc. is the name of my uh, fictitious company in this fictional story I wrote. Keep in mind, I am leaving for a reason and may, eager, may be eagerly anticipating my last day. So it's possible my effort will not be 100%, but I will try. And then I go on to say that you know HR could even exit interview, exit interview me uh, if they want. I put that in there because I have actually been completely and totally amazed at times when having worked at a business for years, no one exit interviewed me. You know, like it or lump it, that is the point when the employee might be really willing to open up and give you the real scoop. And if you can get a skilled interviewer in a room with that person, taking notes or audio recording or something, you can actually gain a whole lot of intelligence about what's going on inside the company. You can find out if there's one or two or three troublesome employees. You can get a lot of really, really interesting advice and company intel, and I have been amazed when that doesn't happen. Uh, for me, the crux of this uh, particular commitment, again, commitment 17 in the book, is not the exit interview part. It's the part where the employee is saying, if I quit and give two weeks notice, I'm not gonna quit on the business. This one's a little touchy for me. Uh, and the reason is that I have been guilty of this in the past. Now, I do put a little bit of a caveat in there when I say, uh, you know, I'm leaving for a reason and so it's possible my effort's not gonna be 100%. At that point, and I hope you guys don't mind me putting this in there, I am just giving props to human nature there. The truth is, most people leaving a job it, it's possible that you're leaving a job because like you love that job, but there's a job you're going to love even more. And so it's just a love, love situation and you're not gonna quit because you actually love the job that you're leaving. But most of the time, there's something going on at that company that caused you to look. In rare situations, you get recruited by someone. Uh, wouldn't that be exciting, you know, to be wanted, like sort of like a free agent in sports, you know, and everyone's coming after you with offers doesn't happen too often as far as I've noticed. So most of the time, something was bugging you about your job, whether it be lame benefits, uh, no place to go up, no raises. I know someone that hasn't received a raise for over 10 years, a real person. It's kind of amazing actually. Is it really possible that they could have done nothing to deserve a raise in over 10 years? Fascinating. Um, so there are good reasons sometimes. Let's just say there are reasons why. They're good, the good reasons to us anyway, why we might leave a job. And so you can't wait. You're anticipating your last day. You might even hate the place you work and need to get out of there. So employers should understand that employees are not always gonna be able to give that 100% effort or maybe you expect 110% out of people and they're not gonna be able to give 110%. So it, it should be understood that we're leaving for a reason. Our heart is clearly, as an employee, quitting in another place. And so maybe it's not reasonable to expect them to finish that huge project that might take several months. Um, I actually had that happen to me once and I thought I, I'm leaving in like just a few weeks. I don't know exactly if I'm even the right person to do this. As you know, I'm quitting. My heart might not be in this. Um, at the same time, what I'm trying to do here is let employees know there is no reason to become a completely lazy sloth just because you're quitting a job in two weeks. I don't think your employer deserves that, at least not in most cases. Maybe you work for an employer from hell, like in my book, Fenori. It'd be pretty easy to quit on this place. It might be easy to quit and walk out and not even give two weeks notice, which I seriously don't recommend, no matter what, because that will that sort of thing can follow you around. So try to treat your employer well, even if you don't think they deserve it. Try to give your best during those last few weeks. Think of it this way. If you don't feel like your employer deserves it, but you work with some good people that you're leaving behind, they deserve your help. 
You quitting could be making them nervous. They don't know how to do X, Y, Z and you do. You're gonna to need to take a little bit of time to show them so they can handle your business when you're gone. Maybe the employer's not gonna rehire and your job is gonna get divvied up a bunch, you know, to a bunch of people who are already busy. Wouldn't you wanna help them just a little bit? They were your coworkers after all. <laughs> Maybe you don't wanna help them because you hate them too and can't wait to leave. My advice here to the employee is to please treat your job, even after you quit, as something that is, that is important because it is. The world still needs your help. We still need a decent two weeks out of you. And employers, you're probably not gonna get super sterling performance. If it's a salesperson, they're probably not gonna go out and pound the sales beat as hard as they were before. They're quitting. Just try to give your best during those last two weeks. Don't leave stuff just laying around. No one deserves that. This has been episode 19 of Happy Work TV, and I will see you in episode 20. See ya!